things that I would like I would like to talk about all of them, but I'm going <laughs> to start with yours. Sure. The, it's a spectacular mullet ponytail. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, combined with like, there's a beer gut situation <laughs> happening. Uh, I look good. You I look really good. <laughs> You've never looked better, Chris. Uh, no, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Now I can on a big screen, especially. Um, it's really. You know what's interesting is uh, to. Um, the, I, when we did that little presentation, um, uh, I was I was pretty heavy. I was overweight, and uh, um, these guys thought that was you know funny. You know that I was you know <laughs> it was, the mayor was jolly, and uh, um, and then when the series rolled around, I um, I had lost a lot of weight and got three hundred pounds. Got I lost about three hundred pounds. Um, got really buffed, and uh, uh, so. This is the first show I've ever done in my life where I've actually had to be padded. Bef uh, any any other show, they're like, no, no, your your padding's fine, <laughs> you know. But but on this show, they actually had to pad me. And the hair, uh, interesting little side note here for the, for you folks here. I did a little uh, movie years ago called Cabin Boy. Thank you, thank you. Stop. <laughs> and <clears throat> in in that movie, I wore a hairpiece, and the top part of that is that hairpiece. The back part of it is an addition to that hairpiece. So there's a lot There are a lot of wigs that I would like I would like to talk about all of them, but I'm going to start with yours. Sure. The, it's a spectacular mullet ponytail. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, combined with like there's a beer gut situation happening. <laughs> uh, I look good. You, I look really good. You've never looked better, Chris. No, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. No, I can, on a big screen especially. Um, it's really, you know what's interesting is uh, to um, the, I, when we did that little presentation, um, uh, I was I was pretty heavy. I was overweight, and uh, um, these guys thought that was you know funny. You know that I was you know <laughs> it was, the mayor was jolly, and uh, um, and then when the series rolled around, I um, I had lost a lot of weight and got three hundred pounds. Got I lost about three hundred pounds. Um, got really buffed, and uh, uh, so. This is the first show I've ever done in my life where I've actually had to be padded. Bef uh, any any other show, they're like, no, no, your your padding's fine, <laughs> you know. But but on this show, they actually had to pad me. And the hair, uh, interesting little side note here for the, for you folks here. I did a little uh, movie years ago called Cabin Boy. Thank you, thank you. Stop. <laughs> and. <clears throat> In, in that movie, I wore a hairpiece, and the top part of that is that hairpiece. The back part of it is an addition to that hairpiece. So there's a lot of history to that mullet, <laughs> just so you know. A lot. Wow. Yeah. I'm learning a lot tonight for the first time. Well, I you know what? Know you that, and I Chris. have never talked before. It's true. We, we, don't have a lot, <laughs> we don't have a lot of scenes together. No, we don't. So, and, and, and even when we did have those scenes, we no, barely spoke no, to each other. No, we avoided each other uh, as much Dan as possible. Dan doesn't like to make eye contact when he's working. I don't like to make eye no. contact with anybody. Mm -hmm. No, it's not yeah. Dan. No. I understand. The show is as much about um, the roses coming to this small town and getting used to, you know, having to get used to each other and this small town as, as it is the, the townies getting used to them because, you know, they're like aliens to, to us. Um, so I think you see, some, you see growth in our relationships. And even between uh, Eugene and myself, I think there's um, some growth that develops there, wouldn't you put it that way? In not those a, words? Not on a personal <laughs> level. <laughs> uh, but in the show, certainly. But, uh, yeah, I guess that would be uh, the best. You know, it's, it's a, it, I, I don't want to give anything away. Let me put it this way. You're going to see me eat a lot in this episode, <laughs> in, in this series. A lot of dairy over There's the course There's a lot of dairy. I'm going to okay. consume a lot of dairy. Mm -hmm. A lot of dairy consumed. And yet you lost weight, so that's... <laughs> I actually gained weight doing the show, but not enough not to be padded for season two, apparently. No. Oh, you know. they got to get that padded padding really rigged do. up I again. I do. I am addicted to the padding now. <laughs> that is it for me. Chris was our first choice, of course, for the role of Roland, and, and uh, I, uh, I, guess I first uh, became aware of Chris in the early 80s, I guess the first year that the Letterman show came on the air, and... Uh, uh, Chris was a writer on that show and, and then made frequent on-camera appearances as various characters, including the man who lives under the stairs. Thank you. Thanks, Eugene. And his Brando impersonation on The Letterman Show. 
for those who recall, dozens of times would come on and just do Marlon Brando, and it was the most insane thing you ever saw in your life. Oh, that's would sweet. be introduced as Brando, would come on and do Brando from The Godfather, and then just walk off. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was insane. So I've been, I've been a major fan for, for many, many years. I would never tell him to his face. Well, you know, I'm I, sitting right here. I can hear you. And would you go ahead? Just, no, I just, just don't want it to go us. to your head because I know how easily you know you put on weight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm hungry. Now I'm really hungry.